Good evening, everyone. This is Maria, and today I am going to be presenting my 15 ways to survive the coronavirus. Now, of course, this is not medical advice, nor am I telling you any financial advice. I'm simply telling you my viewpoints on how me and my family are going to survive this global pandemic. So, number one, a lot of you are in areas that may have been affected by the coronavirus. And some of the schools, if they haven't closed, they are most likely going to be closing down. Now, I already am homeschooling my children, so this is not a problem. Now, I do hybrid homeschool, which means that my children do go to a campus for two days a week. However, that is not going to be happening next week, so we don't have to worry about it because we are very used to teaching from home. Now, personally, I use the Veritas curriculum. There are many other curriculums. They also have the virtual homeschool, so that's something that you may want to look into. But anyway, that's my personal choice. So the next way that I am going to be hedging against what's going on with the stock market crashes as well as the Bitcoin. I think it's down to $5,000, which, hey, not a big deal. As long as you have money, it would probably be a better time to invest. But um, anyway, we buy gold and silver. So for quite a while, we've always been hedging our U.S. dollar with gold and silver. And, you know, one thing, I don't know where this is going. However, we may see a drop in the overall value of the U.S. dollar. And so it may be a good choice to invest in the gold and silver before your dollar value decreases. Now, you know, I look at things on a metaphysical level also. So Corona, Crown, you know, we may even be going back to a gold standard if things drop out so low because history does often repeat itself. So the number three way that I am going to be surviving the coronavirus is going to be to generate colloidal silver. Now this is something that I've been practicing for many years. You can definitely look it up and see the pros and cons of it, but we've always used colloidal silver for any sickness that comes into our household. So there's no reason that we won't use the same methods for the coronavirus. And so we personally generate colloidal silver here. You can buy a generator maybe for a couple of hundred dollars. You can actually, they don't have Radio Shack anymore, but that's how we built a lot of ours. But back then they didn't really have Amazon. So anyway, uh, when it comes to treating illnesses, and again, not any medical claims, but I do purchase my colloidal silver uh, also online when I want a pharmaceutical grade because I can only get about 30 to 50 parts per million but the pharmaceutical grades are 250 all the way up to 500 parts per million and we use that in conjunction with a nebulizer or uh, we'll say like a breathing apparatus to get it directly into the lungs but uh, in addition I also use Ormus or Orgones which is like um, powdered gold again for some of the metaphysical properties. All right, so my fourth method is going to be to plant a garden. Now gardening is something that I include with my homeschool program here with my children as I teach them where their food comes from and there's nothing better than somebody that can provide for their family. You don't always have to exchange your time for money. You can take the seeds, put them into the earth, and it's one of the easiest methods as well as one of the cheapest methods in order to get food. Now, some of the things that grow fairly quickly include lettuce and some of the microgreens. We do grow moringa. It does take a little uh, while, up to eight months. But your peppers, rosemary, basil, zucchini, tomato, squash, those will flower in a shorter period of time and then also reap a harvest you know within 60 to 90 days with some of them so if you're spinning your seeds out it might be a good time to start saving those if not go to your local home store or home depot local fresh market and purchase some seed 
if you can get heirloom seeds or organic good if not who cares just get some seeds so you can grow food and you can not only help yourself but you may even be able to help somebody else in the future my number five method is to buy rice and beans by the pound you can get very large bags of rice and beans at like your Costco or your Sam's or your BJ's so these are staples and you know we don't really know what's coming not any type of scare tactics but you want to be able to feed your family so number six includes to buy canned goods as well as fresh frozen vegetables uh, you need your nutrition so if you're not growing your greens or you don't have microgreens uh, that would be the next best thing is to have access to frozen vegetables and you know your canned goods eh, hit or miss but better to have something than nothing number seven would be to buy at least 10 cases of water now of course that is an arbitrary number as i don't know your family size but uh you know that's a good start in my opinion uh, and then you also may even invest in a water filter one of the top types of water filters are a berkey water filter now because i live in florida now one of the worst things that could probably happen is this pandemic goes on and it stretches past i don't know july and i'm not even really sure when the hurricane season starts but if we get a hurricane and uh coupled with the coronavirus then now we're really going to suffer so i don't want you to suffer and i certainly don't want to suffer so in that instance you know it may be good to have both options number nine is going to be to set up an online business now you know i'm a big advocate of heal is one of the best choices that i made late last year was to join them not only for their personal growth and development but they also give you a remote business and one of the areas that is thriving right now with this outbreak is one of their products called th plus because it is a natural plant-based immunotherapy product and it's in high demand now that people are getting sick and they're looking for alternative ways to boost their immunity since there's not a vaccine now we'll get to that here in just a few minutes but i'm not an advocate of that but i believe that your body has been intelligently designed to fight off viruses now if they engineer them in a lab i don't know that's going to be kind of rough but anyway you want to give your body the best chance to do what it needs to do so heal is a very good option they just put out a new product called bulletproof that shows you how to set up your online business it starts with the mindset training it goes into marketing traffic conversions everything that you need to be successful and they even have a special offer if you do sign up now the the product is only 9.99 and then if you upgrade to their vip membership then they also will give you free traffic on top of that to give you a jump start now in addition to the heal program anything in the health and well i'll say anything i'm an advocate for heal but things in the health and wellness are going to do really good as people are being quarantined um my brother called me today and he said that his um the owner's brother just got diagnosed with the coronavirus and then there was a school that closed locally and two of the people that work there their student i mean their students their children actually um you know went to that school you know and obviously shut it down because there are people that tested positive so you know it's getting really close to home and so fortunately my brother is able to work from home and the same here you know i'm not worried i do have my online businesses but those are in addition to my primary profession which is a college professor and so i made the decision long ago to be able to work from home and so anyway if you don't have that option don't wait till it's too late don't wait till they say hey you know we're gonna have to lay you off or you know you're gonna have to work from home and we're gonna cut your hours in addition you can look into the gig economy uh, things such as fiber and upwork you may have some skills that are not being utilized take a look there anyway i'll put links in the description 
to those alternative business. Number 10 method is going to be to use your downtime to learn. So I'm a big advocate of education. Again, I'm a college professor and also I homeschool my children. So if for some reason you find yourself at home, don't get depressed. Take your time and learn something new. Focus on commodities, maybe even re research businesses that thrive in a recession. And again, if you need some help with Mindset, Heal has a very good personal growth and development program. So you may even take your time to invest in that. Next is going to be to buy digital currency or use uh, digital currency generation systems. Several months ago, I did my top 10 methods I think I use for passive income. So I'll put a link in the description to that. But, uh, you know, even though Bitcoin is going down, you know, I think that there are a lot of blockchain based companies that are going to emerge on top once we get through this pandemic because they've been investing a lot of money for a lot of years. And so I don't think these things are going to fail. So you want to look into that. So again, I have a couple of them. I will put more information in the description about them. Number 12 is going to be to buy land on the outskirts of the city. So if you're in the city, you're stacked up amongst one another, well, you know, hey, you're more likely to be susceptible to whatever is going around. So if you have the opportunity to live on the outskirts, do so, or you have some extra money, you know, maybe before the, va the value of your money gets devalued, maybe buy a plot of land, throw some plants uh, on it, some fruits and vegetables, you know, and set something up for your family. Number 13 would be do not take the ushered in vaccine. So a lot of times they have these pandemics and then they rush in a solution, which is what the people want. However, there have been a lot of lobbyists and different things that have been going on behind the scenes. So don't get caught up in the crossfire. Once they inject something directly in your blood, you can't take it out. So personally, I'm not interested in their vaccine. I will use the above methods that I have been using that have been tried and true, but again, not medical advice. Number 14 is going to be, they've been talking a lot about giving stimulus to the people. And so consider if you do get some sort of stimulus, not to put it into anything frivolous, but rather take a look at some of the things that I may have mentioned or some of the things you see as value commodities and invest in those things and then last but certainly not least is hopefully one thing we will learn is that you know through this pandemic there will be a lot of people that are suffering and god forbid that there may even be a lot of people that are dying but hopefully we can learn how to be more self-sufficient that is something that i preach around here with my family with my children and you know, this may be a good time to downsize if at all possible, if you have any unnecessary items while things are still valued. And again, this is not a fear tactic or anything like that, but, you know, look around and see what's most important. If you're not alive, if you're not healthy, then, you know, what good is if you don't have a good quality of life. So consider selling off some things and maybe use it to invest in some of the commodities that may help to support you and your family in the future and hopefully all of us will emerge as a winner again i mentioned a couple things throughout this presentation let me know what you thought about it i'll put a couple links and or references in the description other than that stay safe and thank you for tuning in